Here we are. The 3120. Finally, I've got it. There's the 95. So this saw, this saw is my, was my, yeah, it is my stepfather's, but soon it's going to be mine. I finally convinced him to let me have it. Um, he wants to swap a, um, he wants to swap a, a medium-sized saw for this. Maybe I might swap him the 62. Yeah, I like that saw. Um, I gave him a go of it the other day when, when he was down um, picking up some slabs, actually. And he said, oh, yeah, all right. I might swap the 3120 for the 62. So there could be a deal to be done. I'm not too sure if that's fair or not. Yeah. This saw, this saw was bought brand new by my stepfather in 1993 so what are we now 18 that's 25 years ago so this saw here is 25 years old this is this actual saw is the saw that started my pretty much started my Husqvarna career I reckon I'd bought I think I'd, I'd bought two two huskies by then, I think I'd bought two second hand huskies and I was cutting firewood um, starting to cut a few I think I had a 268 might have been something a bit bigger than that, I can't remember um, so yeah I was starting to cut some freehand slabs and looking at Alaskan mills and thinking I need a bigger saw and my stepfather bought this and I tried it out and yeah it was just I've got to get one of those slab with that five foot bar on the Alaskan mill and that's what started my that's what started my career basically started me on this path of making furniture in a messy workshop this is a slab well this is some six by twos jointed together for a dining table so yeah this is the store that started me on my career, so I've been pestering him to give it to me for, for ages, because I blew up. Because yeah, after he bought this, then I bought I bought mine. Yeah, so I was two saws into my woodcutting career, and my stepfather Paul he bought this this saw, and I tried it out and went, oh gee, yeah, that's what I want. I want one of those. So that was when I bought. A brand new one of these. I think I bought mine in sort of 95, I reckon. That's when I, I made my Alaskan mill. Um, I'd been cutting freehand slabs before that. Um, and yeah, that was, I knew that that was what I wanted to do. I was making money out of cutting firewood. Um, and yeah, wanted to get into, uh, get into cutting slabs to make my own furniture. Um, so yeah, I bought one of these. And I ran that for a good five or six years, and I, I cut hundreds and hundreds of tons worth of firewood with that saw. And eventually, I remember like a five-foot round red gum blew it up. I think I was pushing it too hard, and then clean the air filter and just dusted it. Well, the bottom end, I think the bottom end's gone basically. So I've still got the other one. So that's a part. That's a part saw. I've been pestering my stepfather to give me this. So he gave it to me um, yesterday. I picked it up from his house and it had a broken handle. Um, this was a bit manky inside there. There was just some, I don't know, some gunk in there and just wasn't clamping down properly on the filter. So this is this is the cover off my my old one and the clutch cover and chain break off my old one. There's a couple of other little things. I think this has got a bit of an accelerator cable issue. Um, I think the oil pump, so there's this, this, this is a really handy um, thing for doing, cutting big, 
when you're using the five foot bar or milling or something, this is really handy because you can actually click this on. This one doesn't click. Um, and it feeds a little bit of extra oil onto the chain. So, you know, if you're at the end of a really long cut, you can just go click and it whacks a bit more oil through the system. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get that and the X. Hear that? It's just not quite right. I'm going to get the accelerator cable and that off my other one. Um, yeah. And uh, just keep this. This is going to add to the collection. Go up on the shelf. Light's bad, it's night time now. Got a 365 special. I found another one. 365 special. So these two are good runners. This is my old one, which um, it was just sitting up on the shelf. I thought I'd killed it. It just wasn't starting right, wasn't running right. I thought it was dead. Um, I think. I ran over this with a ute, so I had a broken broken um, throttle, throttle lock and broken chain brake. Yeah, fixed that up, cleaned it. She's, she's good as new. There's nothing wrong with that saw at all. And yeah, I found another one at my chainsaw guy's shop, and I convinced him to sell me that. So two of those. There's the light. Get the light. Got the 72 as well. That one's got a damaged bore, so that one will be. It's a project saw. Yeah, got the 200T running again. And this one. This is my stepfather's saw as well. He's asked me to fix this up. An old 161. So, yeah, I've just cleaned these two saws today. Just got them off him yesterday, cleaned them up. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to see if they run. I don't know about that one. He's rebuilt that himself. He reckons he changed all the crankshaft bearings, put a new piston and cylinder on it. And this, he bought this in 82, 1982. So, I can't do the maths on that. 20, 30, no, no. 35, 36 odd years, years old. Wow. Alright. So, I just thought I'd share this. I've been hanging for this one. I'm excited. I'm excited about this. I'm going to fire it up now. Um, it's dark outside. I've probably got to go in for dinner soon, but I can't stop till I've fired these two up. Um, I fired this one up earlier today and gave it a little bit of a tune-up. still wasn't... It's amazing how... Yeah. After cleaning that, she just fired up. I changed the Changed the um, pull start cord, gave it a good clean, clean the air filter. So yeah, I'll put the camera down and see if these things start. Alright, oh, try the little one first. I don't know about this. I think it's going to need more work. I don't like starting soils without This is the one I want to follow. Come on. Sick. Come on.
sat in a shed for like 15 years. He reckons he went out maybe once or twice a year and started it. Now I think he's used it sort of once in the last year or so, once or twice in the last year. He's actually cut with it. Old huskies never die. That's going to be a YouTube video. Oh, see ya.